What's up guys and welcome to another episode here at Charmosh. So today we're doing another test and tune test and whatever you want to call it. But today we have a defender going up against Mr. Devil and his forerunners. Obviously the forerunner has a build. Um, the defender also has a lift but nothing too crazy. So we're going to go down, break both of these rigs. And really today is about seeing what a defender can actually do. The defender's really, really nice. The color's awesome. I'll have the owner actually break it down a little bit, what he's done to it, what it comes with factory, and then we'll talk to Mr. Devil himself in his runner. He's been building it for quite a bit, 35s, 35s. Uh, obviously has a little bit more suspension than what the Defender comes with, but it does come with some packages. So we're gonna go talk to him, find out what's up. We're gonna air down, get ready. We're going into Gold Mountain. Let's find out what these trucks can do. All right team, so we're gonna talk to the Defender owner first. We're gonna see what he did to his truck. And then, uh, yeah, just meet him, and then we're going to get in there and hit the trail. All right, talk to us, dude. All right, so my name is Sal. This is my 2020 Defender, first edition, 110. It's basically, a, uh, the four-door, two-door. Two-door would be a 90. This is a 110. Okay. Uh, this is a first edition, and it does have all the little off-road goodies you'd want from for the factory. Okay, so dish, factory, so. it does not come with this size tire, though, right? No, it doesn't. No, okay. It doesn't. What does it come with factory? Uh, it'll come with 20-inch uh, wheels with, uh, like, 32s. Okay. So, yeah, they're really known for popping. So if you went to this is a 17 inch rim. This is an 18 inch rim. Oh, 18 inch. Small as you could fit. Okay. Um, on the front, I just put a spacer because of the wheel design. Okay. Uh, it was kind of hitting a little bit on the caliper. Okay. The rear, I shaved the rear caliper. Okay. So you could fit the. Oh, so you could wheels. fit the rim. Okay. Yeah. We did break down a couple things off screen, so I will have him talk about it. He actually fabricated some parts to be able to fit these tires. So what is it that you did to make 35s fit? Yeah. Okay. So basically, I have a company, Celtic Motorsports. My fabricated some cooler relocation brackets. It relocates the cooler puts it up forward angles it uh, that way you could fit it fit the 35s up to 35 and all the, other than that just a two inch lift that's something that we 3d printed we don't sell that but it's just a uh, something we added so, so you don't have to sell it now dude you're gonna have people wanting <laughs> to do the setup now yeah so 35s two inch lift and then some relocation brackets just to make the tires fit other than that have you done anything else to other it? than that it's uh it's stock other than some minor accessories and stuff like that so okay yeah. what uh size motor and all that does it have this is a uh, inline 630 okay. the twin charge so it's basically so it has an electric supercharger and a turbo okay uh, the whole system is a milled hybrid they only really kick the hybrid system only kicks in for the superchargers so. okay uh, and is it a, a, a manual transfer case or electric it is electric okay. everything's electronic in this thing so of course uh, obviously it's a land rover i, I wouldn't expect less <laughs> um but yeah i mean the truck looks good and this is at its lowest point right now right yeah this is uh this is the axis axis what's called axis setting whatever it's called okay so yeah so, so what's the off-road uh, program called or you know like when you put it in that mode what it, does it have an actual name to it um just off-road mode so you got your your normal mode your off-road mode off remote has actually two options, but it's only selectable to the computer makes it selects it. Okay. Basically, uh, after 30 miles an hour, it drops down another inch of if course. you're in off-road mode. Uh, so what's the highest point on it when you're at full full height? Shoot, I'll show you. I'll show you how Yeah, how let's high. do it. Let, let's. So he's going to lift it for us, and we're going to see how much it lifts. All right, so he's going to lift it. He's going to put it in off-road plus mode. We're going to see it lift and do its thing. Okay. Can you see the rear goes up yeah, first? the rear's going first. Nice. That is the normal mode. Okay. This would be off road. Oh, this is off road. Oh, you can see the bags in there too. Okay, it's getting a nice. And then the back goes. Alright. It should be alright. So that's the highest point right there? Yeah, that's the highest that's point. That's pretty nice clearance. You guys are pretty pretty even. It looks like he has a little bit more than you. Yeah, probably. But it looks good. Yeah, so. And this is an off road mode, right? Yeah, this is off road mode. Right. This is the highest setting I'll go to. Um, the suspension does get stiffer as it goes higher. But okay. I guess you just see. And you've never done Gold Mountain either, I've so this is the first test for it. But yeah, we're going to find out. So he's got Mickey Thompson. I did have them both air down to 15 each, so that way it's even there. And they both have 35s. We're going to see what they do. So now let's go talk to Devil and let's get it popping. All right, so you met the Defender. Now we're going to go break down the Forerunner with Mr. Devil himself. Scared, Yo, dude. what's up? Uh, Oz here. I got a 2019 SR5 Forerunner. As you can see, I've added a lot of things to it, from anywhere from suspension to bumpers to winch to light. I put e-locker, actually air locker on the back, reinforced uh, CV axles. So that Defender has about a 
three and a half inch lift. What size lift is yours, you know? Um, I'd say it's a three inch lift, but I think it's around three and a half, four inches okay. maybe. Also 35s? 35s. Dude, he's Team Falcon, what's up? Yeah, Team Falcon for sure. Summit all the wheels. Way. What are these, uh, King 2.5s? Uh, 2.5s all around. Nice. And then you have a front and rear or just rear locker? Just a rear locker. Okay. Rear so locker, it's, it's re-geared as well. Okay, uh, what's your gear? Four point, uh, four, five, six. Okay, four, five, six. Four, five, six. I had four eight eights before, but they didn't work for me, so um, I regeared again. Dude, how do you have Falcon tires and a Toyota tire? Um, actually, I have two Forerunners. My other Forerunner has Toyota tires on That's it. Your so. Girl's <laughs> dog. I don't count. But uh, sponsor me, dog. Dude, uh, no, I don't. No. <laughs> We're gonna scrub that out. If you guys don't follow him, make sure you follow him on Instagram. He's a pretty popular dude, but this foreign is built nice. He has sliders, obviously the King suspension yeah. wheels. Number 51, dude, trail militia, he's, all he's, the way. He's a big supporter. Big ups to him. He does have a little bit more clearance and better approach angle than the Defender. Um, so it is gonna be nice to kind of see the difference. You haven't done Gold Mountain either, right? I haven't done Gold Mountain, no. Uh, so, I'm excited though. That's cool. So it'll be kind of like a, a shock to both of them because obviously the gatekeepers there we're going to find out if they want to do it or not and then really it's kind of test it test what a forerunner does and this just put basically like a trd off-road package now better suspension and then that defender also kind of has the same setup so 35s 35s rear locker rear locker each has its own but we're going to get into it devil you ready now i'm fucking ready dude. all right let's get it. we're gonna get ready and let's go to the gatekeeper all right so first things first the gatekeepers here, I mean, nothing new if you guys have been to Gold Mountain. Uh, they did move a rock that kind of caught everybody back there. But we're going to approach the devil's going to go first, and then we'll have the defender go up next. Let's get it. So sick! Watch out, I've been driving my whole life! Damn! <laughs> Shoo! That's it, that was the worst part, bro, you're good! More driver. Right there, nice and easy. You're gonna drop a little, then it's fine. Oh, 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 oh. Back up. Nice. Drop right there. Woo! Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Wait. <clears throat> when your radio's not working, man. Right? Radio's not working. I need you to back up a little bit. Slowly. Go back here. Slowly. It's going, it's going, hell yeah! Woo. Woo. Slow, 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 slow. Damn! All right, that's a slow. Yeah, yeah, that's perfect. Nice and easy. All the way through. Sick. Keep it straight. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Some right now. You're good, bro. You're doing good. All right, team. So first impressions. Honestly, they both did really well. I was surprised how good the Defender kind of crawls up. He didn't really have to gas it much. He had really good control. So it's pretty impressive. The Defender, um, for the obstacle that we did, I, I expected it to kind of struggle a little bit more, but the Mickey Thompson's hooked and um, his uh, lack of throttle, or I mean, I guess that's a good thing. It, it, it really worked out. So whatever gearing he has uh, and the system he's, he's using is, is definitely working out. And then Devil did really good too. He hasn't wheeled in a while. They both kind of walked it. So it was nice to see that. Uh, but we're gonna keep moving go mountain uh danny what do you think dude impressive on both vehicles for sure uh, yeah. more so the defender being completely stock except for those tires i uh, did not expect it to be that easy as well so 
let's see what else I got. Hell yeah, let's keep going. All right, team, so we got to the first section here at Gold Mountain after the gatekeeper. You kind of go in and do the little twisties, but we're going to take the tree line. So it's tree line, and then easy side is that side, or you can approach it to this middle section. But tree line is the one where we're going to hit it today. Four runners going to go first, defender will go next. Good, fine. Keep that line going. Don't turn yet. Don't turn yet. Keep making the driver. Driver. There you go. Keep coming. Driver a little bit. Right there. No, you're good. You're climbing right now. Just turn the driver a little bit. Right there. Come up. Okay, now cut it. Right there, come up. Keep going, you're going There you go. It's gonna bite right now. Come up. Keep the wheel straight a little bit. Right there. Come on, girl. Forward. Nice and easy. Let's see if she'll bite. There you go, right there. Oh no, easy. We spin nice and easy. <laughs> you're good right now. Here, now cut it. Yeah, you're good, dude. Just go all the way across. That's you it. You're gonna get a little bit, but you're gonna carry it. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There you go. All the way up. All the way up. Come on. Nice. You're gonna drop off a little bit on the other side. Keep going. Okay, rocks in the front, like that. Nothing. This is a clear road. You keep your tires like that, you're going to get a little climb and then you settle out. All right, here comes the defender. We did have a little bit of sliding going on, so we're going to see if the defender's tires will grip a little bit better. We'll keep it moving. Here comes the defender. Driver, right there. Just to give you a better angle. There you go. Perfect. Come on. Nice. Keep that line straight right there. Keep coming. You good? Keep coming. Keep coming. Slowly. Cut that way. Right there. Let's see if she'll bite. Come on. Wait. Woo! Damn. Damn. Hold on right now, okay? Hold. Damn, that's sick. Hold on. Yeah, you were able to climb the rock where he slid off. Yeah. Is it nice good? Maybe you need to drop the PSI a little bit. He's heavy. So I think that's yeah, it's a heavy truck. Is. Remember, just easy throttle. Easy it's throttle. It's that same line all the way up. Just easy throttle. Okay. Let me just make sure your disc clear. Yeah, you're good. Everything's good. Follow that line all the way up. Nice and easy. Yeah. Oh. Rock her again? Wait, 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 wait. Nice and Slow. Easy. We gotta cut him hard this way. Yeah, turn that way. Hard. Right there. Then you'll clear that back one. Yeah, you'll clear the back and everything. Back's clear, you just gotta get over this. Keep, keep, keep going this way. Slow, slow, slow. Just baby gas, baby gas. Let the system work. Just like that, let the system work. There we go, stop. And then bring it back that way. And keep going that way, yeah. We got it, man. All right, they both made it up. One had to take the little longer ride and cut back in. And then the other one went up and over the rock. It did get a little tippy. You can see that obviously not a front axle articulation is a thing. But both of them managed to get in and out. No winches, no anything. So we're good. Everything's going to keep moving. Let's keep going. All right, so we pulled up to the next area here at Gold Mountain, the V-notch. So this is the next area that gets kind of tough. Looks like they've been stacking their gang of rocks in there, which is unfortunate because that should all be empty. But, I mean, it's still V-notch. You still have to work for it. So, four is going first. Just keep coming right there. Driver, keep the driver. Now put it in a little bit. Put it in, right there. Come up, right there. Keep coming. You good? Keep coming. Nice. Nice and straight. Nice and easy right there, Scotty. Keep coming, you good? Okay, 
<laughs> all right team 400 made it up it did have to work at it a little bit uh we're gonna see how the defender does next the rock is really slick not much water or anything like that it is pretty dry but everything does shift because they stacked a bunch of rocks back there so those rocks are actually not helping they're actually rotating and, and making a mess so defender's going up next let's see how he does um but 400's getting up there he made it. He's clear, he's clear on the front. Huh? He's clear back here. Yeah, you're good. Right there. Right there. Yeah, go through. Climb's so big back there. See if it'll do it. You're not hitting anything. You just have to climb. There's a big rock on that side. You have to climb up. Hold on. No. Fuck, it was even there. Right there, you're gonna climb on this side first. Very hard. Right there. Keep cutting it this way. Alright, hold on. Cut it that way. For hard driver, forward. Right there. Nice and easy. That's where it's at. Nice and easy. Fuck yeah. Ah, yeah! Nice and slow right here, nice and slow. Just let your truck crawl by itself. That was fucking bad, dude. Alright team, so they went through the next section of Gold Mountain and you saw they had to work at it a little bit. I don't know if it was a slicker rock, different day, just things happen in an order sometimes that don't make sense and they struggled a little bit to get up but honestly at the end of the day they both made it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that, Defender partied a little bit. Now we're at the next section, we're going to go ahead and record them doing it up, no spotters, let's see how they do.
we're at the very famous rock garden phone yard they're coming through it now right here's getting out of the way we have the forerunner and the defenders coming up next let's go Nice and easy. That's a slow. That's a good one. You good? Stay out. Right there. That's good. That's good, man. All the way through. All right, that's the boneyard. We're gonna keep moving. All right, team. So we just pulled up at Pivot Rock. So Pivot Rock is obviously here. A bunch of loose rock right there. You come up, come back around, and then Pivot Rock is right here. Go up and around. And if you really want to party, you go in between the two big rocks. We've done it before. If you want to go check out one of the other videos today, we're we'll kind of crunch times. We're gonna have them hit the original line and see how they do. So we're going first, and then we'll have the defender go up. You have slider, so you're good. He's the one that's gonna be tough. You good? Keep out. Keep coming. Keep coming. Keep coming. That's that line. Perfect line right now, dog. Keep, keep, keep that keep, keep that line. Keep grammar? Yeah, keep it how you have it right now. Thanks. Straight, straight it up. up. And go straight, but nice and slow, because you're gonna drop down over here. Yeah. Nice and easy, here comes the drop. Okay. There you go. Come up, now turn. Wait, let me get What's that, Nick? I'm hungry. All the way up, dude. You got it. Nice. All right. You're going to step up. Good. Coming. Good. Coming. You're going to step up over here. All right. This is the tree part, okay? Come up nice and slow. Turn it straight out. Right there. Nice and easy. Okay, you good? Up. All right, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna lift up. And it's gonna want to do this. Just control it, okay? Nice and easy. Come up. That's the nine. Don't even turn the wheel. Just go slow. Nice and easy. Come to drop. Perfect. Oh, nice. Perfect. Dude, you didn't even touch oh, it. Yeah, didn't even Inches, dog. Keep going. Keep it straight. He's clear over here. Yeah, he's been up. Alright, Chief, so that wraps up another episode here. We're gonna go talk to the drivers. Both the Defender and the Forerunner did great. I mean they didn't get stuck anywhere. They were able to do every, every obstacle. They had to work at it a little bit, but they were able to knock it out. So we're gonna go talk to Mr. Devil himself and talk to the defender and um, close you guys out from there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode. Stick around, we're gonna wrap it up. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys the inside of the defender. Pretty nice. So the defender on the dash, everything is, uh, oh dude, the screen is pretty sick. Little shifter, everything's electronic, obviously. Dude, the windows on the sides are sick. It's got a window on the side right there, window on the side right there. It's pretty nice, it does have a third row too. First edition, awesome. Get all the dials on the back. It's a little dirty inside. Nice, dude. Dude, look at these side windows. They're sick, dude. <laughs> I feel like the Pope mobile in here, bro. <laughs> Put a side window. Let me stay off the top, bro. No, no, <laughs> Break it down, dude. What is this? Hey, this is for when he turns on the supercharger and the boost. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And the, and the back passengers are flying and around. Steer? <laughs> <laughs> like a side by side. Dude, so it's got a co hanger in the back. And then it's got a purse hanger. Yeah.
for the passenger. Yeah. That's classy, dude. Oh, it's what? inside there? Yeah, no dude, shit, let's no see. Way. <laughs> dude. It's small, it's small, but. It still has it's it, It's enough for a, uh, 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 the uh, Oh, oh snap. That's sick, dude. Viene también con esa bracket? No, I made that. Okay. Oh shit. That shit looks solid, bro. Dude, sick. Hell yeah. All right, we're gonna close it out. All right, dog. Talk to me. How'd you feel about Gold Mountain for your first time? It was dope. I was expecting a little bit harder, but it 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 was challenging, though. Did you do have a? Dude, play back when he was stuck all over there. But I mean, you know what I mean? Uh, no, nah, you did good, dude, for not wheeling in a, in a while and actually taking it out. That didn't happen today, right? Uh, no, the hood, the whole hood shit over there. We told me to look for the driver's side near fell off. Oh, oh shit. shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's all good. I can't do it. Whoa, all the scratches you Yeah, it's all good, though. Yeah. I like scratches, man. Yeah, scratches are good. Scratches are good. You can buff that out, though. Yeah, but Gold Mountain finally did it. It was dope. Uh, you had a good time? The Defender Man did a fucking great ass job, honestly. Uh, and More than I expected, really. And you didn't pull them out technically. So yeah, no, we you didn't. You can't even take that dog. Yeah. Alright, brother. How'd you feel? Uh, about... Definitely an Arnie trail, man. It's uh, you know, it's a lot of talk about it around here, but it's yeah. definitely an Arnie dude. So yeah. I'm happy I made it one piece. Yeah, I mean, honestly, you did really well. For the couple little sections where you bellied up or had, <clears throat> or had issues, was really because you slid. Yeah. And there's no really controlling that. It's going to happen yeah. from time to time. Um, but honestly, it did really well for being IFS front and rear. The system seems to work well. Um, so talk, talk about what you do, man. Yeah, so uh, I own my little business, uh, South Tech Motorsports, and I'm making parts for the Defender. Okay. Uh, so far we have about six products. Uh, we got more coming, so um, yeah, check it out if you guys want. What was wanna. it called again? South Tech Motorsports. South Tech Motorsports. So I'll put it right there, and then it will be in the link and description, and all that will be on there. So if you guys have any questions for him, hit him up, hit me up, and I'll link you to him. But the defender did well. Thank you for coming out, brother. Appreciate yeah. you. And uh, we gotta get the Bronco out here now. Your boy, tell him to come yeah. back out. <laughs> but the defender did his thing. Obviously, I did a walk around on it for you guys already. Um, yeah, man, looks good. Did good. We got a mi minor rash right here on some of the plastic, minor rash underneath. But other than that, everything else is solid. Once you build some sliders, you should be good. Gatekeeper did every single obstacle he was supposed to and made it out.